to you and Lord bless your people this morning in the name of Jesus. Father, transform lives this morning, oh God. Take all the glory in the name of Jesus. Blessed be your name, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, still in the attitude of worship or still in the attitude of prayer, this is our month of wisdom. May the Lord give us wisdom in the name of Jesus. This morning, I want us to ask the Lord. We know someone in the Bible, Solomon, who requested for, a, for wisdom from the Lord. Not only did God give him wisdom, but God gave him more than he actually requested for. I want us to ask the Lord this morning. I say, Lord, in this 2020, in this decade, oh God, Father, give me wisdom, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Just like you gave Solomon, Father, give me wisdom in, the, in every area of my life, in my business, in my job, in my family. Lord, give me wisdom in the name of Jesus. Father, give me wisdom, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray just like Solomon asked, oh God. Lord, I ask this morning that Lord, give me wisdom, oh God, in every area of my life. In the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we, without wisdom, Lord, I cannot function. Lord, give me wisdom, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. Ah, Father, give me wisdom. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Father, we honor you, O oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, the Bible says in Proverbs 2, 6, the Bible says, For the Lord gives wisdom. It says, from his mouth come knowledge and understanding. When not only would, you, would he give you wisdom, he gives you knowledge and understanding. I want us to ask the Lord this morning and say, Father, give me wisdom. Give me knowledge. Give me understanding, oh God, in the name of Jesus. I want to tell you this morning that, Lord, this is the season that you need God's wisdom. This is the season that this nation needs God's wisdom. This is the season that globally people need God's wisdom, especially with the disease that is going on around the world. People need the wisdom of God. I want us to ask the Lord this morning and say, Father, give me knowledge, give me understanding, O oh God, in every area of my life, in the name of Jesus. Because whoever have wisdom, they can have a solution. I want us to ask the Lord this morning, Father, give me solution, O oh God. Give me knowledge, give me understanding. In the name of Jesus. Father, give me wisdom, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. Father, give me wisdom. In the name of Jesus. Give me understanding, O oh God, in every area of my life. Father, give me knowledge, O oh God. Revelational knowledge. In the name of Jesus. Father, we honor you. To you be all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Not in James verse 1, verse, sorry, chapter 1, verse 5. James chapter 1, verse 5. Bible says, if any of you lack wisdom, you should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault and it will be given to you. I want us to ask the Lord this morning, just like I mentioned, if you lack, think you lack wisdom in one area or the other, but like I said, whoever has wisdom, we have the solution. No, the world needs a solution at the moment. We all know what is going on. They need a solution. I want us to ask the Lord and say, Father, just like God gave Solomon wisdom, I know what? He, he has a solution to a lot of things. I want us you to ask this morning and say, Father, in this 2020, Lord, give me wisdom. I need God's wisdom this morning. In the name of Jesus, I want you to ask the Lord, Lord, give me wisdom, oh God. In the name of Jesus, says, if anyone lack wisdom, they should ask. Father, we are asking this morning, give us wisdom, oh God. Give us knowledge. Give us revelation, understanding, oh God. In the name of Jesus, Father, we pray this morning that, Lord, oh God, you will enlighten us, oh God. In the name of Jesus, Father, take all the glory. Lord, we bless your name, oh God. In Jesus' name, we pray. Now, one of the reasons why we need God's wisdom, he says, when, once, once, I mean, God, once God give us wisdom, he, I mean, he says, you need wisdom to make good choices or to make good decisions. Now, many of us, we are in a situation, maybe at my places of work or in any situation we find ourselves, we need solution. They need solution. And God needs to use us. And when God needs to use us, God will need to give us wisdom. I want us to ask the Lord this morning. Just like the Bible says in Proverbs 3.23, it says, 
then you will walk in, you will walk on your way securely and your foot will not stumble it says then you will walk in your way securely and your foot will not stumble i want us to ask the lord this morning and say father my foot will not stumble oh god in the name of jesus lord my foot will not stumble in the name of Jesus, because I need wisdom to make good choices. Father, my foot will not stumble. In the name of Jesus. Father, I will walk in your way securely, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. Father, give me wisdom, O oh God, in every area of my life. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord, we honor you. Blessed be your name, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. One of the, another reason why we need the wisdom of God. The Bible says, it says, the wisdom will honor you. Proverbs 3, 35 says, the wise will inherit honor, but the fools will be disgraced. We shall not be disgraced in the name of Jesus. I want us to ask the Lord this morning, I say, Father, give me wisdom, O God, in the name of Jesus, so that Lord, O God, I will be honored in the name of Jesus. You all know that whoever has a solution will always be honored. I want us to ask the Lord, and say, Father, Give me wisdom, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, let me be honored in the name of Jesus. But the wise we inherit honor. Father, let me be honored, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, in any situation that I find myself, O oh God, Father, let me be honored in the name of Jesus. Father, let me be honored, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, take all the glory, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Lastly, in Daniel 12, Daniel 12, 1 to 3, the Bible says, Those who are wise shall shine like the brightness of the firmament and like the stars forever and ever. It says, Those who are wise shall shine like the brightness of the firmament. I want us to ask the Lord and say, Father, Father, let me be wise, O God, in every area of my life. In the name of Jesus, let me shine like the brightness of the firmament. In the name of Jesus, Father, let me be wise, O God. Father, let me be wise in every area of my life. In the name of Jesus, Father, let me be wise, O God, in every area of my life. In the name of Jesus, Father, let me be wise, O God, in every area of my life. In the name of Jesus, and Lord, let me shine, O God, like the brightness of the firmament. In the name of Jesus, like the stars forever and ever. In the name of Jesus, Father, let me shine, O God, in the name of Jesus. Father, let me be wise, O God. Blessed be your name, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Eternal rock of ages, we want to say thank you. Lord, we honor you this morning, O God. Lord, your people are praying this morning, the month of wisdom. Father, Lord, we pray that, Lord, wisdom you shall give unto us, O God, in the name of Jesus. Father, in every area of our life, Father, you will give us solution, O God, in the name of Jesus. With, with the problem that is going on around the world, even in our places of work, Father, give us solution, O God, in the name of Jesus. Father, I want to say thank you, O God. Let us be wise, O God, in every area of our life. Take all the glory, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. We are welcome to the redeemed Christian Church of God, the city of God, grateful. Our mission is raising true worshippers and impacting our community. If you are worshipping with us for the first time, we welcome you to the city of God. It's March, our month of wisdom. Hallelujah. Amen. Every Friday, we do have our midweek service, 7 to 9 p.m., but this Friday, we are having the World Day of Prayer, a women-led global ecumenical movement. We are all expected to be here at church. We are all expected to be here at church. Hallelujah. We are coming here to pray with other churches in Crayford. And the time is at 7 p from 7 p.m. Hello, church. We are the hosts. So... Every one of us is expected to be here by six. So we are receiving seven, okay. Seven, we are receiving the people 
um, from other churches. We don't want them waiting for us here. Hallelujah. The teenage service will hold every third Sunday of the month. So on the 15th of March, we are going to have the next teenage service. Parents, please take note of it. Time is at 12.15. Hallelujah. Operation 2020 is a, is a prayer um, group in church that has been set up. So we do have six teams, and every day at 8.20 p.m., there's a team praying for the church, praying for the members at large. So if you do, uh, if you want to join, if you've not been part of the um, prayer uh, praying team, please speak with me at the end of the service, and I can um, link you to which team uh, that you that that you you can join at the moment. Festival of Life Easter Festival, Hallelujah. Are you not excited? Okay. How many of us have been to Festival of Life before? How many? Oh, just a few of us. Okay, please, always try and go. It's always a, an exciting time and in, in the presence of God. So that's on the 10th of April, um, 2020. It's um, the Easter celebration, and I think that Friday, that day is a good Friday. Yeah. So please, and, and the theme is the fullness of time. The venue is the London Excel Center. I hope we all know the location. If you do need a ride to go to the Festival of Life, please speak with me. We'll be able to get you um, some cash here right to the place. Hallelujah. And on the 11th of um, April as well, there's a youth event organized by the uh, Festival of Life team as well. It's called Flame. Hallelujah. So if you are a teenager, a youth in the house, you, you should be there. It was a wonderful and awesome experience um, last year when they had it. And I think there, there, there are some, um, some um, guest ministers come, come in. Uh, Phil Thompson, Faith Child, Lou Fenningham, um, Becca Fox, and all that. So please, parents, let your youth go. If your child is um, less than 16 year old, they can't go by themselves. A parent needs an, uh, an adult need to go with them. Please take note of that. Praise the Lord. Somebody shout hallelujah. Yeah. I bring you greetings in the mighty name of Jesus. And I want to announce to you that in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, all your prayers during this period of fasting will be answered by fire. I've cried to the Almighty God for you, and I know He has heard my cry that all you desire from Him that will make your joy full he will make available to you. It's going to be well with you, and this will mark a brand new beginning for you in every facet of your life. I want to assure you in the name that's above every other name that your testimonies will be great, and there will be many. And I want to assure you that the God you serve will take you higher day by day as he moves you from glory to glory. I encourage you that you too will now go ahead and begin to serve him like never before, winning souls, planting churches, working for him in every way possible. And by the way, I want to assure you that there's no virus that is going to come near you at all, because it is written that uh, they that dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I believe that this is a time for God to show you clearly that there's a difference between those who serve him wholeheartedly and those who do not. It shall be well with you. You will enjoy peace. You will have good health. The great promoter will promote you. And each time I hear concerning you, it will be good news. God bless you and congratulations once again. And I pray that you'll be sending your testimonies to me very soon. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 
Let somebody shout another hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This is for those that have been fasting. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's just rise and shout that praise the Lord. I want to say a big congratulations. Say a big congratulations to your neighbor. You went through these 50 days of fasting. <laughs> Hallelujah. Look them in the eye and say congratulations. You went through these 50 days of fasting. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. For those that doesn't know who has just spoken to us, that's our Father in the Lord, our Daddy Gio. Just in case you don't know, praise the Lord. And that is the prayer that he has prayed for us. Your answers to your prayers are coming. This morning, I have only a simple task, and I want you to rejoice before God. That is my exhortation this morning, that you rejoice before your maker and thank him for the journey that you travel. You know many fainted along the way, but you went through the journey. You are coming out strong on the other side. And this morning, I just want you to begin to bless the name of the Lord in hope and expectation that what you have asked of him, he will give unto you. So this morning, let's just lift our hand and bless him. Let's lift our heart and magnify his name. Let's give him glory. Why I come up. Hallelujah. Oh, let's give him glory this morning. Let's give him glory. Let's give him praise. Let's give him adoration. Mighty one, we bless your name.
Talk to him. Worship him. Tell him how great he is. Sing your own song. Sing your own song to him. It's not a moment of silence. It's a moment of expression. Tell him how great he has been. How great you have been, my God. When I look at my life, I see your wonders, Lord. chapter 1 verse 8 Revelation chapter 1 verse 8 Jesus said I am the Alpha and Omega the beginning and the end says the Lord who is and was and is to come the Almighty Revelation 3 verse 7 and to the angel of the church in Philadelphia writes this thing says, he who is holy, who is true, he who has the key of David, he who opens and no one shuts, and he who shuts and no one opens. This morning, Father, because you are the Alpha, please open new doors, open new chapter in our lives today in the name of the Lord Jesus. You are the Alpha. Please begin something great in our life today. Alpha, you open and no one can shut. Please open the heavens over us in the name of the Lord Jesus. Please open unto us the treasure, your treasure, oh God. Your good treasure in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Because you are the Omega 
<laughs> Please bring an end to every work of the enemy over our lives in the name of the Lord Jesus. Because you are Omega. You shut and no one can open. Please shut every door of oppression and depression in our life today in the name of the Lord Jesus. Because you are Omega, please bring an end to waste in our life. Please bring an end to shame. Please bring an end to confusion. Please bring an end to barrenness. Please bring an end to fruitlessness. Please bring an end to shame, Almighty God. Remove every reproach. Bring an end to reproach in our life. We have waited on you, Almighty God. Our eyes are on you, O God of heaven. Father, Lord Almighty, open a new chapter in our life today. In the name of our Lord Jesus, the rewriter of the story of man, Father, rewrite our story. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus, Jehovah God, as we dedicate our fast again to you, let mercy speak for us. Let the blood speak for us. In the mighty name of Jesus, you say you are the great rewarder, rewarder of them that diligently seek you. Lord, as everyone that have sought you in this period of fast, reward them, almighty God. Give them a token for good that they have sought you and they have not sought you in vain. In the name of the Lord Jesus, that Lord, when we look in our life this year, it will marvel what you will have done in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you all the praise, Father. We give you all the praise. You are high and lifted up. Awesome God, we give you praise in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Uh, offering time. Offering time. It's a blessing time. Ezekiel is indeed is a blessing to give unto God back what he has given unto us. So we're going to look into some scriptures and I will advise you if you are given by direct debit or by transfer like myself you can uh, the technical is going to display is the number so that you can actually pay into that so and i would quickly read first from second corinthians 9 7 second corinthians 9 7 actually admonishes us to to give he said each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. So, well, uh, to be honest, sometimes you might also give not cheerfully. <laughs> and when you like, I just need to give, I need to sow. And also, God likes people, even if you sow in tears, God also gives you reward. And I pray that God will reward us abundantly. I just want to, uh, there is no investment in God that's going to go to lost. God will always pay back. Mm, that's, that's what I know. God always pays back. And if you have packaged your offering, let's, let's rise up to pray.
just rise up to pray. Let's rise up to pray. And you want to speak to your offering this morning to speak for you. You want to send your offering for Lord, whether you are actually giving cheerfully or you are actually sowing in tears. So we want to say, oh Lord, Father, I am giving this offering all in appreciation of what you have done or in anticipation of what you are going to do. Father, we let us begin to pray, oh Lord, that this offering will speak for us even during this week and over even this month. Father, we want to give you all unto this one, the, uh, even out of the abundance you've given unto us. Let's commit this offering, oh Lord, that where we cannot go, this offering will go with even for us. Let's begin to speak unto this offering. Uh, attribute it to something that you are looking of for God to give unto you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Father, we want to say thank you, Lord, for the grace to give. Indeed, only the living can give unto you. Father, for counting us among the living souls, Father, we want to say thank you, Lord. Father, out of the abundance you are giving unto us, O Lord, we are returning this token in at in appreciation of what you have done or also in anticipation of what you are going to do for us oh lord father we pray oh lord that this offering will speak for us in jesus mighty name oh lord father we pray oh lord as we have sown this particular offering oh lord father let us reap abundance in jesus mighty name oh lord father let our bounds oh lord be full with abundance in jesus mighty name oh lord father we pray oh lord lack oh lord will not come on our doors in jesus mighty name oh lord Father, O oh Lord, by reason of this that we are giving, O oh Lord, Father, heaven shall open unto us in Jesus' mighty name, O oh Lord. Lines shall fall upon us in pleasant places, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Lord Jesus, O oh Lord. Father, we want to say thank you, Lord, for the grace to give, O oh Lord. Father, we want to say, O oh, Lord, we want to pray, O oh Lord, for as many people that want to give more, O oh Lord, or that are not able to give. Father, we pray, O oh Lord, by this time next week when they come, O oh Lord, Father, you will have opened heavens unto them, O oh Lord, and they will be able to give much more than what they are giving right now. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's leave the Savior hope as we give our offering this morning. Amen.
the Lord. I will have to be here this morning. So if you are happy, praise the Lord. You know it's not by your power that you are still alive this morning. Praise the Lord. By now, I'm expecting that some people should be, some of us should be able to know where I'm going to. You are alive this morning and you are quite sure you are alive. You know some people are alive, they are not sure they are alive. You are alive and you are convinced beyond every reasonable doubt that you are alive. You are the only one that is allowed to praise the Lord. Let the living shout hallelujah. Amen. You will be alive forever in the name of Jesus. It is time for testimony. There are a few people here this morning. Someone is already raising up his hand there. <laughs> There are few people here this morning that doesn't want to cover the glory of God. They don't want to share in his glory. You know, Revelation 12, 11 says, they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the words of their testimony. You want to overcome devil. What God has given unto you, you don't want devil to come and take it again. You are the only one that wants to testify this morning. I said, very few. I don't know the number, but I'm convinced they are very few. So, you are one of the people that want to testify this morning. Let's see your hand. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, one minute each. Let's start from you. Are you? Did I give you number? No, that's number one. Don't worry. You will come over very soon. <laughs> eight minutes, eight minutes. In Jesus' name. So I had an interesting few weeks, to say the least. Yeah. Um, so two weeks ago, I woke up on a Sunday morning with serious, serious stomach pains, like com completely out of the blue. I don't know where it came from. Um, and I couldn't come to church and do what I usually do. And I was like, you know, I'm, I've had it once before, and I knew, I knew the story. I knew I had to go to the office before the end of the day. So I knew it won't go away. So I just had this pain in my hips for like a week. So um, went to hospital early. Was there for it's like eight o'clock now. We had like four hours for the for the stomach pain, and it was bad. It was going from one to the other. Couldn't get in and out. Couldn't get rid of it. Um, so I'm there. Um, they think I have something wrong, um, but they think something could potentially be appendicitis. So the next day I'm waiting and waiting and. Okay, they realize, okay, it's appendicitis, you really need surgery. So I've never had surgery before, so I don't know how, how it goes. But um, I'm thankful that they did figure out what it is. I'm thankful that the surgery went well, because um, anything could have happened, really. And, you know, I'm thankful that I'm here today to, to tell the story that I survived. So. Oh, it's my birthday in a week. Yeah. All God has done for you will be permanent in the name of Jesus. give God all the glory for um, allowing me to write my exams and come out successfully. Thank God for that exam and thank God for the results. Very good. Praise the Lord. 
Yeah, I think mine is also related to what, <laughs> what you just said. It's basically the similar thing. Uh, I had a pain many months ago. Even sometimes when I come to church, I just yeah pray it's going to go away, but it didn't go away, actually. Even during the blue sky, I had to do... I was scheduled for an, uh, a, an operation, but I had to cancel it because I told them, ah, the blue sky has to, has to be done. And God, I thank God that I did the uh, procedure two weeks ago and it was okay. But one, they first told me that they are going to put you to sleep. I was like, yeah, well, I thank God that I slept and I woke up. <laughs> that, that's why and everything is fine. So then also, uh, next week, Friday, it's going to be another year another year added to me so and I appreciate God for that so I'm getting younger every day praise the Lord hallelujah <laughs> hallelujah okay yeah I want to thank God for his um, loving kindness and his mercy and grace I, um, last February was um a year that my mom passed, January was a year that daddy passed and uh, we are still, you know, counting and looking back. We are able to thank God and give him the glory that he has kept us. He has opened doors, he has shut doors, he has rebuked devourers, he has done a lot of things that we can't even count for us, for me and my siblings. I want to bless God that even throughout that period, you know, sometimes we feel that, oh, I feel I could just pick up my phone and call. But God has always been there. He's always been a father that, you know, you call on him and he answers us. And I want to thank God that even my siblings, they, everyone is progressing. Things are looking better for every one of us, you know. It's not as if, oh, if daddy and mommy were here, maybe uh, we would have, you know, gone done otherwise or whatever but we thank God that he's the only one that has made himself available to depend upon and I also want to thank God for my life I woke up on Friday morning and for some reason I was just tired I was supposed to work from home and for the first time all I could just do was sleep until 2 p.m. I was weak I was tired I was I didn't know where that came from you know, it got to a point. I was, you know, I was coughing. I was feeling temperature. I was like, God, I do not want any virus. Because I, I, it was just strange. Yes, it was strange. I started Googling and reading up what are the symptoms. You know, I was like, there's no way I would wake up. I was fine yesterday. I woke up this morning and I'm feeling like this. But I want to thank God that I am alive. I am well. I do not have any virus. I do not because it's not my portion in Jesus name Amen. and I want to pray that for every one of us as we go out and come back into our homes that we will not catch any of this even as daddy Gio has prayed for us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. <laughs> Virus is not our portion in Jesus name. Eda, you do it well again. Amen. Um, praise God. Uh, basically, I want to thank God for journey mercies. I just got back from Nigeria with my children. Uh, all I just want to say is I, I know that um, I really abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I feel it. Uh, I know I, I can give you instances. Uh, for instance, when we landed in Nigeria, you know, I think the flight after hours, they had to take them to Ghana because for some reason there was something that they didn't have anymore in Lagos that we didn't have that problem. Um, I just want to thank God for, you know, my mom, because that was the main reason why we went. She, she was, she turned 85 in February. So I want to thank God for her life. She's uh, still very mentally alert and she can still walk by herself and do stuff herself. She was happy to see the children, myself. So I, I really want to thank God for that and uh, for bringing us back safely. The only problem was the traffic in Lagos, but that's 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 gone now. So praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. I want to thank God for being successful in all my exams that I wrote. Hallelujah. He 
is turning to family affair now. Yes, sir. <laughs> They've come out to actually share their testimony themselves to thank God. But I still want to thank the Almighty God on their behalf. They are the children of God, which the Lord has given to me. And the Bible said it shall be for signs and wonders. It's actually happened 2016 when the elders one, elder one went to course to secondary school. And uh, we're actually preparing her for grammar school. So she did the grammar school and she did very well. But thereafter, after the grammar school exam, I think a month after, my wife just came on with a newspaper where you have adverts of independent school, private school, top private school that you can go in this country, which you have to go through a series of exams. So we tried to prepare her for it, just within two months. But we tried to do it, I mean, the, 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 the first one, she actually past first stage, but she couldn't go through that, uh, beyond that. Now, I just left it like that. Now, the, uh, younger, the younger one said, I'm not, Daddy, I'm not going to go to grammar school. I want to go to private school. I said, okay, let's wait till that, till that, till then. So when it was time, our time to actually start preparing for secondary school last year, and we put her in for some of these exams, and it was actually very tough. I can say it's very, very tough. And you have to go through like three stages of exam interview thousands of people and how many people did you want to, they want to take just out of nine out of like five thousand they want to take just 80. it's very tough so i just want to thank god that they prepare like like now and now the others one that couldn't make it then and that's okay let's try it again so that this is what you call chance vacancy in one of the top schools they call it chance vacancy it's for 14 plus so i put her in so 10 of them, but to the glory of God, she was the one that was given the, she was given the offer. They said she did extremely well in the exam, in the interview, extremely well. Not only the ordinary offer, it was a generous offer. Very, very generous. If I say generous, very, very generous. These are schools that you need to pay thousands of pounds, thousands. But the Lord gave it to her generously. And for the second one, she just got off fire here and there. So I had to, we had to actually decide which one do you want her to go. And to the glory of God, we just decided, okay, this, she should go to the one that the eldest and the sister will be going. So the two of them will be going to the same place. And yesterday, they will be resuming in September. Yesterday, she went, she went for the open fun day. But when they were welcoming them, they told them that congratulations. Out of 5,000 people, only 90 was taken. It can only be God. It can only be God. But just to encourage our parents here, let me tell you, parents, our children have a sense and wonders. You see, what, what, what always, anytime I go for this exam, when they were doing it, I look in, in the hall. How many black people can I see? Out of thousands, I can only see maybe five, four, six. I, I begin to wonder. But when you, when you look, you see all these Asians. You see the Chinese, you see these white people, and I'm wondering, what is this? When she went yesterday, at the end of it, how many black were taken out of the 90? Just about two or three. Out of 5,000. But I want to encourage us, brethren, the Bible says our children will be the head. All you need to do is encourage these children. There's something that you can raise this against the color, but you cannot raise this against this brain. Because it's a gift from God. And when the Lord has given it to our children, uh, the Lord will make them to be signs and make statements with their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. We just want to thank God for what the Lord has done for them. And even the younger one, the younger one did to this seven plus, and she was, it was taken. It was it did seven plus uh, exam, and the, to the glory of God, it was taken. We just want to thank God for all this, all this exam. And uh, during the course of preparing, they were not sick. The Lord just helped them through. And we want to bless the name of the Lord for all that he has done for us as a family. Hallelujah. Yes, ma'am. Good morning, church. Praise the Lord. I started coming to teach church 
late December last year. Three periods to that time, I was looking for a job. Ah, I was just tired. I don't like working on Sunday. I hate it. But to the glory of God, that's the only job I can get. I have to work on Sunday. I was like, ah, what will I do without going to church? To the glory of God, just a five, just five minutes walk to this place. I saw this church. I said, okay. I came, I checked. I said, this is perfect for me. Whenever I finish with the woman, make her a couple. I said, Father, make her finish. I'll come down. So she finished with a couple. I will come down and I'll worship God. Since then, I've been, I give glory to Almighty Father because He answered my prayer. Praise the Lord. Amen. Any other testify this morning? Yeah. Before Pastor, yes, brother. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I have few testimony, but I will summarize them. Uh, yesterday, I went to greet my my friend's mom who had a cancer and a rare meeting hospital. And yesterday, we finished our 50 days. You know, at times, devil, we want to do some things. Even look at Jesus. After finish fasting and prayer, and devil attacked him. As I walked into the room, I heard a voice. You will have a virus. I look at it. I said, 50 days. I said, that will not be my portion. You know, I just went to the uh, washroom. I washed my hand and sanitized my hand. And every time I do it, and as I was about to pray for the woman, I heard the voice again. I said, no, this is not my portion. I got home. I told God. Lord, I just finished 50 days. It is not possible. And I was, I was you know, this uh, coronavirus, whatever they call it, I was started feeling the, the symptoms. <laughs> no, no, seriously, this is not a joking matter. And I started Googling it as well. Look at it. I was throwing up my, I was having, I mean, uh, high temperature. And to the glory of God, I prayed. I woke up this morning, I'm healed and healthy. Praise the Lord. Secondly, I want to thank God for what God did for my, uh, my nieces in Canada about their studies as well. You know, the first one wanted to study medicine and she went to University of British Columbia. And, you know, she did have to do, she did biochemistry, whatever. And she had 3.9, 8 or something out of 4. And she wanted to go to the University of Toronto where their mom is, the city. And there they sell 3.98 for medicine and they have to do this medical school, whatever. You know, she told them, they were, to, they were supposed to go to Nigeria. She told her that, no, I'm not going. I have to enter the school. And you know how much they pay? The father said, I'm a contractor. <laughs> Even with your Canadian passport, I don't have the money. But he said, no, daddy, I will get scholarship. And the father just left her alone. Okay, go ahead. And to the glory of God, she wrote the exam, and she passed excellently well without paying a farthing. Not even a farthing. She, she's in year three now, and they told her you must make, of course, of course in the medical school, they don't grade them, but they said you must make this in the test and the practical, this thing. And to the glory of God, she has been doing so brilliantly well. Praise the Lord. Also, the second was where she said she wanted to study uh, what uh, lawyer said, I mean, law. The father said, no, 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 please, 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 I'm a contractor. Don't bring this one. I don't have the money. To the glory of God, God did it again. Hallelujah. The last one, my eldest brother, to the glory of God, he worked in CBN and he has been writing ICANN exam since 2010. Wow. T no, serious, 2010. I mean it. She got married April 10th. He passed exam, he passed all the exam about five years ago. Remain one. Every time he will fail. Every time he will fail. Oh, my goodness. And I remember my, I lost my mom last year. And my brother, my brother was praying for us. My brother prayed for him specifically. And to the glory of God, today is a chartered accountant. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I give glory to God because I said, God, I must come, especially for him, to give glory to God. Praise the Lord. justice if I don't say this testimony because when I was asking God, I said, Lord, if you do it, 
I'll come and give testimony. I don't really want to give, but I say, okay, no, I've got to do it because I promise God I'm going to do it. It's got to do with, some people will know it or not. It's got to do with IR35. Some of you will know or not. So this IR35 means I'm a contractor. Some of some people are employees. So IR35 means they're going to be taxing me like employee, which I don't want. I've been, <laughs> I've been a contractor for a while, and I know some of you have been a contractor as well. So when this IR35 started, maybe two, three years ago, I was thinking, Lord, it shall not be my portion. It shall not be. But I knew it, it will come near me. But I was saying, Lord, it shall not be my portion. I mean, a lot of people have taken uh, HMRC to the courts. They did not win. To be honest, a lot of high-profile uh, contractors, they did not win at all. So they say, hey, you, you're going to be an IR35. So this, uh, was it last year? Last year, my company, I knew in a way that they would put me there. But I was saying, Lord, if, just give me it. I mean, it's if they put me there, I don't mind. But the main thing is, I know my money will be very low. But I said, Lord, let me come and give you a testimony. I know you can do some, you can turn things around. No, it doesn't really make any much difference to me because I know they're going to tax me a lot. But I said, Lord, let me just come here and give a testimony that you did it. I said, Lord, don't let me, let me be outside of that uh, system or that uh, um, R35. So I said, Lord, I'm going to sow a seed. I sow a seed. To be honest, I did not sit down or kneel down to pray. But I said, Lord, just do it and let me come and give testimony. Then they gave me an assessment form, I think in December. So I filled the assessment form. The assessment form was very easy. So I, and a lot of people are filling the assessment form. They did not pass. So I filled in the assessment form. I went to my counter. We filled it together. So I sent it to my company. My, se- my company sent it to HMRC. And was it two weeks ago? I, just, I was just here doing some cleaning or maybe doing some things. I don't know what I was doing. I came to the church. That was during the week. Then I just saw my mobile phone. So the HMRC gave me a certificate that I'm outside of R35. Um, I, I, so I was thinking, oh my God, what did I do? That, they're not gonna, they, that means I'm completely outside of it. They gave me, it's HMRC that actually gave me a certificate that I'm completely outside of it. I just want to give God all the praise because, like I said, it's, not, it's, it's a challenge. I just say, Lord, I don't want to be there, but if I'm there, it, does not make, it doesn't make it too much difference. To me. Of course, I know I need to cut my coat according to my size, but now I don't need to cut too much coat now. According to the clothes available. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank God for all these testimonies. My testimony is very simple. In the month of February, I had to travel to Nigeria with my wife too. Just like Boy Daji testified. You know, going to Nigeria and coming back safely. <laughs> if you don't know how to thank God when you get to Nigeria... <laughs> You, you will appreciate God. Because the type of things you will be seeing, the type of things you be, that will you be surrounded with. No, we kept on praying. We went for my dad's burial. We kept on praying that God should took absolute control of everything. We had the burial on Saturday. Everybody went back safely. The same road that we traveled on on Saturday, that there was nothing. I understand some people passed through the same road on Sunday. And now brothers took over the same road. <laughs> you know, when I had, I was already here when I had that thing. I said, God, you are ever faithful. You are ever faithful. So what am I saying this morning? You know, when my dad passed away just two months after his 90th birthday, I felt, ah, we just celebrated birthday for this man. We spent money. <laughs> two months after, he decided to go. <laughs> but, you know, our God is forever faithful. God really surprised us. He surprised us. From where we were expecting, from where we were not expecting, God provided. I want to return all the glory to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. He alone deserves all the glory. Praise the Lord. Let's be on our feet this morning. We've had so many testimonies. We've had testimonies of success in exam, testimonies of deliverance, Testimonies of breakthrough. And you are here this morning, you are asking God, when are you going to do my own? Before you ask God, when are you going to do my own? I want you to do something this morning. I want you to say, Father, I thank you for all these testimonies. For everyone that has testified today, that day I return all the glory unto you. Let's go ahead and pray this morning. Go ahead and thank God for every testimony. 
testimony of success in exam, testimony of healing, testimony of deliverance, testimony of everything that is good. Go ahead and thank God this morning. Go ahead and thank God. Return all the glory unto him. He alone deserves all the honor. He alone deserves all the adoration. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Finally, you want to pray this morning. Father, in the month of March, let me march into my breakthrough. Let me march into my victory. Let me march into my testimony. Go ahead and pray this morning. Father, in this month of March, let me march into my testimony, into my breakthrough, Lord. Yo, from the north, from the south, from the east, from the west, from the four corners of the world, let testimonies begin to spring forth, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Son. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Before we pray finally this morning, we want to do something quickly. We want to prepare a thanksgiving offering because our God is the only one that deserves all the praise. He is the only one that deserves all the honor. I want you to think about what God has done for you. So many people started the year and they are no more. You are not in the grave. You are not in mortuary. You are not even in hospital. Do you think God deserves all the praise? I want you to package a good thanksgiving offering this morning. And what we are going to do, oh, no usher is coming to you this morning. We still have 10 minutes. You are dancing to the front. Even when you don't have an offering, please don't hesitate to dance. Don't hesitate to dance. When you are dancing this morning, what are you telling God? You are telling God that you alone deserve all the glory. Choir, please, they are ready to dance. Give them danceable tune. We are ready to dance, please. We want to return all the glory to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. We we'll start from the back, please. Thank you. 
And so our Lord and our God, the giver of every good and perfect gift, that they will return all the glory unto you. We return all the honor. We return all the adoration. We thank you, Lord, for the things you have done already. We thank you, Father, even for the things which you are about to do. We thank you, Lord, for not leaving any member of this parish. We thank you, Lord, for allowing the plans and the counsel of the enemy to prevail against any one of us. Daddy, we say thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Daddy, even as we have come with the heart of thanksgiving this morning, let our praises and our thanksgiving be acceptable unto you in the name of Jesus. Even the offering of your children, let it be acceptable unto you in the name of Jesus. The remaining months of this year, let them be months of testimonies for us in the name of Jesus. Things of sorrow, things of sickness, things that has to do nothing to do with you. They will not come near any one of us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, because you have done it. In Jesus' mighty and wonderful name, we are praying. Let the living shout, hallelujah. 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 Amen. Praise God. Month of March. So how many of us were born in the month of March? Hallelujah. Wedding anniversary. March. Is it only... Wow. I think it's only some... <laughs> Brodegy. Oh, that's true, Brodegy. Where's Brodegy in the house? It's at the back. Oh, please go and call him for me. Eh? <clears throat> please, let's start from the back. Praise God. We are marching, dancingly marching to the front. Amen. It's the month of March. <laughs> so let's dancingly march to the front to celebrate our maker. Wedding anniversary in March. Something special in March taking place. This is a time to give thanks to our maker this morning. Amen. Brother, is not ready yet. Amen. <laughs> All right, let's stand up as well. We are, we are going to celebrate God with them and dance with them, aren't we? So right from that height, maybe they are going to start dancing from that place. Amen. Give us a dancingly, matchingly song as they come to the front. Salami. Hallelujah. I'm making my own English. Amen. All right, and my king as well. All right, so Salami. Irene, Irene, Hallelujah. But thank God for his faithfulness. The first one, 
Remember this when I was saying the first year of my being uh, worried, I was praying every month. Pastor did not have to pray. The same month she landed in UK. Hallelujah. The same night. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Pastor, we thank the Lord. And this is the fruit. Hallelujah. And why would you not thank God this morning? Hallelujah. Come on, everybody shout hallelujah. Our God is faithful. So let's call this beauty. Is it a wedding anniversary this month? Yes, it is, isn't it? Wow. <laughs> Glory to God. And see my boy as well, Akiolua. We thank God for his faithfulness. Let's hold on to the knife, please. And um, we're going to spell the name of our God, Jesus. And something, March has five letters in it. The name of Jesus has five. And what does five stand for? Grace. We we'll speak grace into your lives in the name of Jesus. As you start this new phase, you're marching forward. I don't know what it is, what's part of your life that you have been trusting God for that you know, promotion, for that lifting, for expansion. We speak that you're marching forward now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now let's spell the beautiful name of Jesus. Church, join them to spell it as well. Come on, give me a J. Now, an echoing E. Wow. Now, a saving and unchangeable and a supersonic now let's call the name together, Jesus. Hallelujah. Happy birthday, happy wedding anniversary. To you, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. May the good Lord Want to go with the good Lord bless you. May the good Lord bless you too. May the good Lord bless you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. I, you're not ready. Please get ready. Okay. Praise God. Just a few things I want to draw to our mind. This is our month of wisdom by the grace of God. And we're going to be studying the book of Proverbs starting from today. Praise the name of the Lord. One chapter a day. Hallelujah. But if you are on you version, you can join. We, have, we, we already have a group of us that are studying it together. So if you have a U, a U version Bible app, you can connect with us, and then you can just ask for me. My name is Tutu Shufuora, just in case you don't know. Hallelujah. So when you go on the app, look for my name, and then once I connect with you, we'll be able to connect you to the group. It would be lovely for us to study together as a church. And so please avail yourself that. There will be a video that I want us to just watch because the study we are doing is on the Bible project. And this clip really sums it all uh, of what Proverb is all about. And I pray that you'll be blessed as you listen. Just a few minutes um, uh, as the technical play it for us. There are three books in the Bible that have come to be called the wisdom literature, Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, and Job. And all of these books are addressing the same set of questions. What kind of world are we living in? And what does it look like to live well in this world? So how to be good at life. Yeah. So each of these books tackles these questions from a unique perspective. And it's important to understand all of them to get a fully biblical perspective on the good life. So as a thought experiment, you could actually imagine each of these books as a person. So Proverbs would be like this brilliant young teacher, and Ecclesiastes the sharp middle-aged critic, and Job would be the 